what is up risk takers welcome to the kill pete strategy i am pete top player in risk global domination the daily release on youtube i do weekday streams on twitch and if you are interested in getting better at the game of risk i invite you to subscribe to my channels come along the ride with me we've made it to the cutoff rounds round three the uh, the risk classic tournament two um doing world domination with blizzards progressive uh no fog no portals guessing placement auto expert automated six player game with alliances or no someone check these settings please um i they don't seem to be complete in the on the spreadsheet i'm confused I don't understand how to read the spreadsheet. Spreadsheet does not contain. See what? Like, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Not the information itself is not complete, right? Not filled out. I don't know how to make. How, I don't know how to make a game if the. Maybe I'm dumb. <laughs> Someone help me. All right, we got Oldie Hood. We got Zethic. We got Karalu. Who is Orson? Is Orson in the group? I think not. Alliances should be on. Which one is Orson Bora? Who is Orson Bora? Yeah, I know Corral, you means dick in Portuguese. Yeah. yeah. I'm just making sure this group is the actual group. <laughs> Corral, you is the best, indeed. Okay. All right, looks like we got our group, folks. So the the idea of default default settings is um, helpful in theory, and very um, inefficient in practice. Because if the settings were just filled out once on the spreadsheet, then I would be able to see them and input them into the game when I'm trying to build them, and not have to look in an additional place for the default settings. <laughs> well, what do I know about running tournaments? All right, gentlemen. Good luck. Ready up. Winner advances. We stay for three games. Okay. Going in. World on Prague with Blizzards. I'm going to put the Twitch chat to the side. I love you guys. Thank you for being here. It's going to focus on winning a tournament. All right. I'm red. I'm in the third seat. Blizzards are favorable, so I have pocket, pocket. We don't lose those. Middle position. Um, I don't expect we see anyone go for bonuses. I'm going to do a four-position play. Alliances are on, which really doesn't do anything. Um, let's throw everyone a heart. Let me get them. 
How does the Australia pocket work? Also, if uh, if any of you guys are in the game and listening to the Twitch, you have to leave the Twitch, okay? Um, because that is cheating, so I don't know if you know that. But if you are in this tournament game with me and you're watching me on Twitch, please leave because that is cheating and we will find you. Um, <laughs> okay. That said, good luck to everyone in the game. Okay. Let's throw alliances to everybody here. Okay, so I have a preferred positioning theory for classic, assuming, um, I don't look, I don't think blue's gonna try and take this. I think the move is to just hang out back there, have a no bonus prog game. If he hits my five, he hits my five. I don't I don't think he does. Oh! Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> we see black roll green five stack. Oh, uh, what the fuck was that? Okay. This is world on progressive winner advances so we're trying to win the game that is it how do we win a game of world on progressive certainly not by hitting five stacks on the first turn yikes Blue essentially is a kill guard on me now. Yeah. Blue is all his troops in the new world. Okay, turn two. Okay. It's a bit of a wacky, uh, wacky game so far. All right. <sighs> Happy with my positioning. Now we have four positions in about as far away from each other as possible. These are two really far away corners. Okay. And we have two more central positions. Uh, bearing in mind that these two blizzards caused the map to choke up like this and like this. So that is how we're going to see. And you, you want to kind of be in the endpoints just because it increases the distance um, your positions are from each other, which hopefully allows you to um, avoid being killed by more people. But I'm not in Australia, so... You think Black's going for Oz? Oh, interesting. <laughs> okay. Yeah, green in two positions. Recovered a bit from getting smoked. I don't think you back up. I think you stay in Ukraine there. All right, I'm going to move down from Kamchatka to Japan because I don't want to be in the way in the early game. I want to allow people to make each other's kills ideally because I don't want the game still made.
Uh, okay. Yeah, one there. I don't do that yet. I do this. I like that better. Two fives, uh, six and seven. Four position play. And black would like Australia. Black's in a single position. I'm not even sure. He's just going to slam somebody, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I don't know what that's doing. Oh, I'm so confused about black's game, man. Yeah, and I and I did I wanted to sit on Ukraine, but then I saw that green would have no cards. Yeah, so I gave the card back. I mean two ten stacks is okay. You, they're a bit close to each other. This turn four, this is the uh Penultimate turn before the sets start to come in. We're now out of the way as much as possible. Four positions. Sitting at 30 troops. And Black has a 17 sack <laughs> locked off. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I like Blue's game a lot. Magenta looking reasonable as well. No real action has occurred in Africa, so White has a bunch of ones. Does Blue consolidate to the eight or to the seven? Okay, Blue switches from four position to three position play. I don't hate that. Um, but he is going to have to be open for him to be able to make kills. Okay. Genta City in Afghanistan makes sense. All right, Hybrid would like to know, as someone who's new to Risk, what is Black doing that is so bad? So the Black player on the first turn hit a five. There's no reason to hit a five. It's essentially an act of war, right? Now, the Black player and the Green player have stabilized, but the Green player was, you know, put on the back foot because of that. So that is, I would say, a major inaccuracy. Um, the other thing you really don't want to do in progressive is you don't want to be in a one single large position. Um, and the reason you don't want to do that is because it makes you easy to kill. But not only are they in a single large position, their stack is locked within itself. Um, so he isn't able to make kills. We also see card skip here. Okay. So there's just a couple of, you know, tells <laughs> unconventional plays, right? We don't know that it fails yet. It might end up working in some way, but not the conventional wisdom. 
Green keeps backing off into Scandinavia. It's, I'm starting to like it more. So, progressive is a predatory mode. You want to make kills. You want to take players' cards such that you're holding five in turn, which forces another in turn trade and gives you 30 seconds on the clock. Um, Black's positioning basically prevents that from happening. <laughs> White says, fuck it, I'm taking a bonus. All right. <laughs> Puts it all on the nine. Let's the guard. White's thinking about what to do. I got to see these players. We haven't looked at the players yet. In the first seat, the magenta player from Denmark, Zethic, TTV. Uh huh. Agenda player in the first seat, uh, Zethic TTV, um, Denmark flag, ranked as a master currently, 93 hours in the game, 75 and 96. Our white opponent is Davis Dacker. Oh, interesting. Black Sats. They smack my 16? Create a second position, take a card late. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Uh, white player is Davis Dacker. USA flag sitting at intermediate, 58 hours in the game, 12 and 68. Those three troops, if not broken, are going to benefit him still. It's a bit late for that, but it's not too late. Can blue take the green kill here? I think we might see it. Yes. Oh, we're not seeing. We're not seeing the green kill. Blue had 100% green kill. Okay. Didn't take it. Cool. But he does break white. So green gets to set. What are we doing for cards? I'm set on three. I'm in the third seat players run the fourth seat. The black players Coralio from Portugal sitting at novice with 47 hours in the game and no ranked play. The blue player in the penultimate seat is Oldie Hood flying the flag of Estonia. Uh, ranks the master 725 hours with 536 and 89. That's a lot of games. That's a lot of hours. In the ultimate seat, the green player is Pretorius, flying the flag of Spain, also a novice with four and nine hours, and one to eight and seventy-one. I thought blue would take the green kill here. We didn't see it. Magenta to three position play. I'm pseudo four, but really I'm just more like three as well. All right. As many of these progressive games do, it probably does come down to the cards. Everyone's still alive. We are now in the second sequence. But well, it's going to lock themselves off from... <laughs> I mean, there's no reason for me to not take a bonus here. <laughs> not gonna do anything it's just two troops but <laughs> i mean we'll take a bonus we get a bonus take a bonus still in four positions no oh, set on four all right no set on four is rough for the peatman
oh yeah, I definitely don't want to kill Gun on Blue. Because what happens here, right? What happens if I if I have to go to five cards and he can kill me, right? I'd much rather have one person have a line on me than two. The blues in two big stacks. Those two blue, blue stacks still kill green dead right now. Almost for sure. Unless green has cards, I think green loses the game next turn to blue. Green reverse it. Green can kill blue here and set if he gets reasonable dice. Goes to four cards. That might be fatal. All right. I think if you're if if I'm green in that situation, I try and go for a good roll. Because I die, and I certainly die otherwise. Okay. Magenta goes to five cards, too. This is good for me. Does white set on four? And if he does, who does he kill? Because white also has the green kill. Hua, 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 hua. The white sets here. Do we see the green kill? You're not. And he leaves the line open. Hmm. We have to go to five. Don't love going to five. We see blue take the green kill here. Can blue snowball from there. Yeah, 100% kill. Blue's well lined up to win. Not really good dice too. GG green. It lines up my kills well. Lines up magentas. Works on the whole pocket. Clean it. I think everyone dies. Do we have magenta? Who's next? I think everyone dies. White gets second because he doesn't have cards so he's not worth killing. We lose black. Ah, bad roll. Feeds black to white. Okay. Yeah, unlucky roll. Now white wins. Good game. Everybody dies.
Ooh, we lose blue. Easy kill on me too. There you have it. That's game one. Good game. All right. We're going in for game two. That was game one. Hope you enjoyed. As always, if you are interested in getting better at the game of risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channels. Come along the ride. The daily release on YouTube. Do weekday streams on Twitch. For all of you on the path to world domination. Good games. Good luck.